What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Antonio Johnson, here with you again. I'm so excited to be here with you. First of all, uh, I just want to uh, give a shout out to a guy who emails me by the name of uh, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Uh, he had asked me uh, a question, and I'm going to try to answer that. You know, the question that he asked me was uh, pretty much, uh, what do you do when you just don't know what to do? Like you, you made decisions, but you kind of in so deep, but you hadn't fully, fully figured your way. Like, how can you kind of get to a point where you can actually, uh, you know, figure out what you want to do? All right, Derek, good one. I like it, man. Um, now, I'm just going to simply say this. Like, one of the things you want to do is you just want to put in more research. Like, I don't know what it is, but people are challenged with, you know, copy, cheat, and steal. Like, copy, cheat, and steal, you should live by that. Like, once you decide you want to do something, Go and find someone who's already doing it. Copy and steal everything they tell you. Like that is your best option. And the funny thing about it, let's keep this in perspective. Like finding a mentor or finding someone who can help you doesn't mean you're dumb. Okay. And I think for some reason we we feel that way, but you're not dumb because you ask for help. Uh, you're, you're actually a lot more intelligent because here's the thing. Uh, asking for help doesn't mean you can't do it. All right. That's that's the most important part. Asking for help does not mean you don't know what you're doing. It just simply means you know that getting help will get you there faster. Like you can take a little bit longer if you want. But why take longer when you can get there a lot faster and you can get there a lot faster by spending more time in preparation, searching for the people who know the information and calling them and asking them for help. Now, sometimes people say, well, some of those people that I call, they're just mean or they don't have any time or anything like that. That's true. People, people who are good at what they do, they've gone through hell and high water to get there. Like getting to the top is not easy. It's challenging. You're going to have some rough days. It's just like, you know, going from mountain to mountain uh, is like going from a valley to the top. And even when you get close to the top, the air changes. You know, and your breathing changes like you're going to always be challenged when you're trying to go to the top. So a person who's made it to the top who you're trying to follow, uh, they probably don't have the kind of patience for people that are playing around who are on the fence. Right. So the thing of it is, when you find out what you want to do, make sure it's what you want to do. Like give yourself some options and then kind of eliminate those things. Like find out what your passion is. Find out what you love. Find out what you really, really want to do. Don't spend time doing stuff you hate because you're chasing money. Money is not going to keep you motivated once you get plenty of it. It has to be that passion, that love for what you really want to do. So ask yourself the one question. What would I be doing if I wasn't getting paid for it? What would I be doing if I wasn't getting paid for it? And I would do it no matter what. If you can find out that one thing, you are in you're you're on track for where you need to be. Once you find that out, then find a person who's doing that. Take the time to call the individual, set up a meeting, and listen, don't be afraid to pay for lunch. Pay these people for their time. It's worth it. Let them decide if they're going to give you this information for free. Don't you make that decision for them, okay? Five, ten, fifteen dollars, a hundred dollars, it doesn't matter. It's gonna save you plenty of money. I promise you. All right. So that's how you get out of the hump. Make a commitment on finding out what's important to you first. Don't just say yes to stuff because you think it's something that you want to do. That's a bad mistake a lot of people make. That's why they quit all the time. It's easy to quit when you don't know your goals. Ask yourself. What's my big goal? What is it that I really want to accomplish? Can this help me get there? And if it can help me get there, what do I need to become in order to be good at this so I can get in that space? Because it will require work. You have to wake up every day trying. You have to find out where you need to improve. You need to figure out what your next step is. All of that stuff is important. Now, obviously, if you're watching this, you must be somebody who wants to grow. So congratulations to you. I know you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. All right. You have a great one. Thank you for your time, Derek. Keep them coming. My email is antoniojohnson at yahoo.com. 
Any questions you may have, just send them to me. You know, I got plenty of videos up. Just go look for them. I'm sure they're out there. All right. Take it easy. Peace.